the year was 1820. A fleet of 90 Bugis Kora Kora ships lined the horizon, lying in wait off Singapore's coastline. Anxiety spread through the crowd that was watching the fleet warily. The Bugis were known to be fearsome warriors. If they had attacked, the locals would not have been able to defend themselves and their families. Suddenly, some of the locals spotted Bugis women and children aboard the ships, and the crowd heaved a huge sigh of relief. The Bugis chieftain, Prince Aron Bilawa, and his 500 followers had come to live and trade here. The Bugis were originally from Sulawesi. They had been trading freely in the region with Riau as their capital. But when the Dutch began to impose new taxes on them, many left the Riau Islands. In Singapore, they were welcomed by resident William Farquhar himself because they brought with them the prized Bugis trade. Sea cucumber, bird's nest, mother of pearl, sandalwood, beeswax, cotton, coffee and slaves. These were some of the commodities that the Bugis traded in that were sought after by many around the region. The Bugis also had a huge network of traders and warriors in Riau and brought these connections with them too. Fakwa valued the Bugis and their trading networks. When the Dutch demanded the extradition of Arong Bilawa, he refused and granted the Bugis chieftain asylum instead. The Bugis settled along Rocho River. By 1824, there were almost 2,000 Bugis in Singapore. Their trade activities contributed significantly to the development of Singapore as a regional trading hub.